This baby's got some new shoes. No, not you, baby. This baby. So we're going to show you that here in a second. eight projects in six states already booked for 2021. They're all listed below. You can get all the dates, get all the information. You can also go to our website, a year to volunteer.com. We do want to highlight one state um, park project, and that is in Nebraska. That is Victoria Springs State Recreation Area. It is their state park centennial celebration, and they want this park to be completely refurbished. And it needs a lot of work. They've got two parks that they're gonna showcase before they do their opening ceremony sometime in June. So the plan is for us to get there the week before Memorial Day on the 24th of May, stay there for a couple of weeks, and then bug out so they can do their opening ceremony. If you're interested in any of our upcoming projects, please send us an email to a year to volunteer at gmail.com. Some of our projects are full and we will let you know when you send us an email, but we're more than happy to get you on our wait list because we do have periodic cancellations and we just love to build the network of folks willing to jump into one of our projects. Absolutely. So send us that message if you're interested. All right. Now to this baby's got some new shoes. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. So we had these feet installed by Lippert um, in Arizona before we left last year. And they're supposed to be flat. And you can see that they're not flat. They kind of lip up a little. And then check out the center. So what I did was in my never-ending search to find someone who could um, manufacture or a company who could manufacture um, replacement feet because these aren't working I've gone through 12 of these I found Darius on um, eBay he had the exact same problem and he created his own solution and he was advertising them so take a look at the difference so these are um, 10 inches wide they're made of quarter inch steel all the way around super sturdy and these are barely barely uh, eighth inch steel and what's been happening is that the bolt that attaches this to the, the hydraulic jack has been pulling through this foot so because most of the damage is in this direction see that so the bolt, the ram, pulls the bolt through once it seats. So hopefully, hopefully this will be the answer to our problem. Um, let's get these installed and I'm going to need Char's help. Okay, that's about an inch of shiny ram showing. It is about an inch of shiny ram showing. So we're lowering the jacks manually just a little bit so that we can uh, get under there and be able to remove the old stuff and put on the new stuff. You excited? I'll be excited if they work. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there it goes. So we already have one foot on um, <clears throat> because I wanted to test it first. And then we're going to put the other ones on so we can show you how it all works. Okay. Now, why are you doing this? Because I'm little and I fit. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. All right. So this is the old setup right here. Um, and the washer is totally destroyed. Um... This washer is actually pinned onto that. Look at that. So we'll have to tap that off. But uh, you can see, you can see there's a little bowing here. Um, and this has already started to come up. So that means that the bolt, this bolt is getting pulled, is getting pulled through this thing when you reset it. That's why you have the copper sleeve so that you can seat the bolt and it won't travel too far up into the ram cylinder. So 
This is the only one that looks half decent. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the other one done. Didn't take long. Nope. You're good. You're good. Got it. Okay, so now we're going to build our bolts so that we can reattach our landing feet. Start off with your bolt, then you put on your copper sleeve. This does two things. Number one, it prevents the bolts from being pulled too hard, high up into the ram, but also it allows some flexibility in the feet so when they're landing, it allows them to conform to uneven ground. Then we put on our rubber O-ring, which prevents some vibration so it stays where it's supposed to. And last but not least, we put on the large washer and this just allows the O-ring to stay in place. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she mentioned the whole thing about the that copper sleeve. What um, in my discussion with Darius, the guy who created these landing feet, um, we talked about the the problem with these landing feet that if you cinch them too tight at the bot to the bottom of your ram, there's no flexibility. So if you're in uneven ground, those things aren't going to move, and those will that will cause the landing feet to deform. So by giving enough play in the landing feet, when they're lowered, these things are gonna be in great shape and they're not gonna bend and they're gonna last forever. And that's what we're looking for. This is where it gets tough. We got the, uh, the impact wrench is already built. This thing is not light, it's pretty heavy, but it's all ready to go. You're gonna be able to grab that and carry it under. Hold it by the bottom of the wrench and don't hit the bottom of the coach. <laughs> You gonna get that over you? <laughs> if I go the low way. <laughs> oh, don't hit the coach! No, 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 no! Scrape it on the coach. <laughs> and so you want to make sure that you get a good, that it's nice and straight. Go ahead. Going in. Up. Yeah, it's going in. Good. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, there it is. Okay, now. That thing is seated, right? So give it a wobble. Look at that. Even though the bolt is tight, you can see the copper sleeve, but even though that bolt is nice and tight with the copper sleeve still visible, um, you have enough play to accommodate for uneven ground. See that? Uh, and then when we retract the jacks, um, there should not be you know, undue pressure on that bolt because that bolt is only there to hold that landing foot in place. It is not there to uh, accept any load from those rams whatsoever. So, how do you feel? I feel upside down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got two more to go. My little honey. <laughs> so we do have the airbags up. You can see we've got about four inches of airbags. If this, the, if the airbags collapse, Char doesn't get crushed, that so we are bad. ensuring max safety, right, Penny? Yep. Keep going. I can't. I'm stuck. Get a little bit more. Okay, you're good. Yeah, now look I'm at that. Wobble. Let's see the wobble. Yep. You got it. Perfect. <laughs> you got the. I was gonna ask if you had the wrench, but you have it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My baby ran away. <laughs> What'd you say? My baby ran away. Here, I'm gonna pass this over your head. Pass it, cause you don't wanna. You got it? Oh, what are you tearing up under the coach? Stuff that's not important. Okay, make sure it's nice and snug and straight. Look at that. And wobble. Wobble. There you go, four pads. We're all done. Now let's level this baby. Now back to right side up.
these things have been the bane of our existence. We lost our first foot pad in what, June in Woodward, Iowa. Um, hopefully these will do the trick. Yeah, the leopard ones just don't seem to be the right fit for this size of a coat. We've lost 12 foot pads. So these, they've all fallen off three times. And we have been working with Lippert. We've been working with the Lippert dealers out there in the U.S. to try to get resolution on this. Uh, no traction yet on that, but uh, we think these things are going to do the trick for us. Yeah, they're a lot more heavy duty and um, where we're hopeful that this is going to be the, the final answer. If you guys are interested in these foot pads, I think that they would be great for Class A's. If you've got the um, hydraulically actuated in the down and the up, position. If you're interested in these types of foot pads, uh, make sure you reach out to Darius. He does all of his business on eBay and we will put the link down below. As always, if you like this video, give us the big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. That's right. Can't wait until January until we start these projects up again and glad that you guys are following along. All right, guys, we will see you soon. Happy holidays. Bye. See this? See this? Oh. See this? Oh, they're not even. And then even. There's, there's no handle down the bottom. Oh, but ours are in the middle. Oh, oh, let me try that. Oh, oh, see, oh. see this? This up here. Yeah. And then you got this. So there's no stress on this or this. No, it just bangs a little bit. Well, yeah, but you know, that's because it's, it's real heavy wood. Yeah. It's not fake wood it's not manufactured so that's why they're nice and even